Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to read maps and I'm going to start with grid references. So to read a grid reference you just need to read the bottom number which is at the bottom of the map. So in this case it's a three digit number so that is 080 and followed by the number along the side of the map. So it's 080 018. That is my grid reference, and the grid reference will give you a square, um, in this case a 100 metered square, in which my position is. So the way I rem remember it is you read the bottom and then you read the top, as in along the corridor and up the stairs. Next I'm going to show you how to read bearings from your compass. Um, bearings are useful for giving locations of the e enemy. Um, so we go pretend that little monument or tree on that hill is an enemy. So all you want to do is press K to bring up your compass and read out the number which the compass is pointing at. So here it is 320. So enemy at bearing 320, aka northwest, about 500 meters. And that is how you use compass bearings. Um, very simple, really. Okay. Finally, for simple navigation, I'm going to show you how to read contours. Contours are hills on a map. Um, the closer together the lines the lines are the contours, the steeper the hill. So we can see here there is a very steep hill here um, surrounding this town. There's very steep hills on both sides of this town making the hill a valley. Um, reading com uh, contours is very important especially if you're flying uh, and for strategic purposes if you're a team leader. Um, but we won't go into the details right now. And this is an example of a shallow hill or a not very steep hill because the lines are a bit further apart. Um, so the climb isn't so steep. And as you can see, this road is surrounded by hills, so it is in a valley. Um, and that's basically all there is to know about contours. Um, just remember, closer together, steeper, further apart, um, less steep. Thank you for watching.